brought a topic for class 7 student english that is today we are going to learn something about article you must have learned in class from class 3 onwards but here also in class 7 we will see so here article is just a type of deter, uh, just a type of determiners but here we are going to classify this articles and it is classified into two types that is a definite articles and indefinite articles so definite articles in definite articles only the is there uh, article is mainly we can take the a and these three are the articles but these three are also classified so definite articles only the is there and in definite article there is a and an a and an comes in indefinite articles now we'll see some uses of it so that it will be easy for you to fill because the question will come Fill in the blanks with the appropriate articles uh, wherever you find it, the necessary words. So for this we need to know what are the various uses of the articles. So for the, mainly the, the is used for any specific name of the person, any specific name of place, any specific name of person, place or things. If a particular name is there, so we will use the. Before that we will use the. The is also used for um, mountains, the Himalayas as for example, for rivers, the Gangas. Okay, uh, uh, we will use this way. Any unique name, uh, if you consider any unique name like the earth, the moon, it is only one in this whole world. So these are considered to be the unique, the Taj Mahal, any monuments. So these, uh, before these words, if it comes, we will use, we will place the before these words. Any direction like uh, north, south, east, west, any directions if we are using, we will also use there the. So for any uh, sea, any river, mountains, hills, ranges, any sorts of things if you find it out in the question, just place the before those words. Now next category is indefinite article. Here comes to a app. A is already we have learned in the lower classes. There are uh, five vowels A, E, I, O, and U. These are the five vowels. So, before if any word which is starting with vowels, or if any word is there which sounds like starting word is vowel, before that word we will place AN. We will place AN before those. If that word start with any of these letters, that is vowels, or if it sounds like it is starting with the vowel letter. So we will place before that and. And for the rest consonant words, we will place a. For the consonant words, we will place a before that. So for today, this much is enough for you. Go through this. Try to understand instead of mugging up the things so that it is beneficial for you to solve the exercises. And after understanding this particular thing, you have to go to the exercise and try all these questions. Wherever you find difficult in the questions, please inbox in the comment. I will try to sort it out. Okay, till then, have a good day. Take care.